Member from Mississauga South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in recognition that Thursday is World Kidney Day. As many of my colleagues in this legislature know, March is Kidney Health Month, and March 12th marks the fourth annual World Kidney Day. Mr. Speaker, World Kidney Day was conceived to raise awareness about the importance of kidney health, including proper screening, prevention, and management, particularly in the context of chronic kidney disease, which is, car which is common, harmful, and treatable. The Kidney Foundation of Canada and other key organizations and partners in kidney care, including Baxter Canada and Mississauga, have issued a call to action to all Ontarians to measure, monitor, and manage their blood pressure. As well, Ontarians are encouraged to speak with their health care providers about managing their kidney health, including the opportunity to be screened for chronic kidney disease. Mr. Speaker, this is important now more than ever because of the link between diabetes and kidney health. Diabetes are on the rise. It can com compromise kidney function, resulting in chronic kidney disease and subsequently requiring dialysis care, either in hospital or at home. Approximately 10,000 Ontarians receive dialysis care. Another 500,000 Ontarians are at risk of developing chronic kidney disease. That's why our government has taken significant action to help people manage diabetes with the launch of the Provincial Diabetes Strategy in July. It included a commitment to focus on improving access to care and management of chronic kidney disease and specifically access to home dialysis. I would like to thank the Kidney Foundation of Canada and their partners for their commitment to improving the lives of Ontarians and continuing to advocate for improving access to kidney care from prevention and screening to appropriate management of chronic kidney disease. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.